this morning, some polls in the Arklamis are already open this morning, meaning Election Day is finally here. That's right. With over 42 million votes already cast across the country, NBC's Bree Jackson reports from Washington on the last-minute efforts from candidates. It is any choice between... A fight to the finish in one of the most consequential midterm elections. It's a choice between two very different visions of America. And the 11th hour, President Biden campaigned for Maryland's candidate for governor, Wes Moore, warning democracy is at stake and echoing an urgent plea for voters to ride the blue wave. Mr. Biden's low approval rating at just 44 percent could weigh down Democrats. Rallying for Republicans, former President Trump hinted at his own political future. We are going to take back our magnificent White House. While looking to give Ohio Senate candidate J.D. Vance and his party a boost. This is the year we're going to take back the House. We're going to take back the Senate. Republicans need to gain five seats in the House and flip just one seat in the Senate to grab hold of congressional power. Nine Senate races are considered competitive, including Pennsylvania, Georgia, and Arizona. Across the country, tensions are high amid election-related threats and allegations of voter intimidation. Officials are preparing to keep polls safe. We're monitoring any protests, um, any disturbances at the polling location from activists or people um, that want to sow any sort of discord in the election process. There's enthusiasm among voters to weigh in on issues like the economy, abortion, and crime. Get out and vote. Do your civic duty. Americans are turning out in historic numbers. More than 42 million votes have been cast already, with millions more expected to vote in person today. The Justice Department announced that it will monitor polls in 24 states today to ensure that no one interferes with the process. In Washington, I'm Bree Jackson for NBC News.